Alright, as soon as this gets taken over, I'll have to call it for the episode. How are we doing here? Four turns for the plasma shield. Uh, actually, based on that, let's uh, remove this from the queue and remove this from the queue, because we can just put plasma shields on those. Let's put these spatial scouts ahead of the basic shipyard. We, we don't want this getting made before anything else. That's just going to be on the back burner eternally. If it ever gets made, then so be it. Okay, let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? Why did our industry go up so much? Okay, well, we have unused production of nine. Wow. Well, our Xeno coordination facility was finished, so we could make gravitous warships here. <laughs> Let's make a couple of endoplasma fighters. I guess just one. One's fine. Again, I, I, as soon as uh, as soon as I get the better shield, I want to have that. Okay, so now these will get up here in a turn. Uh, how are these guys doing here? 150, 297. Oh, are they moving? They are. They split up their fleet a bit. I'm guessing they're coming to uh, Rukba. Try to take it back. That's going to be pretty hard. These guys will be getting over there pretty soon. Oh, we have a uh, scout that's on his way over here. That looks weird that the scout is pointing that way, but coming down this way. I think they should probably make it so the orientation of these change. Yeah, they do. This orientation changes based on where it's moving. I thought it did. Oh, wait, how much is this? Oh, ah. Uh. Okay, let's uh, get these strong guys split off from here. Okay, you're still strong. You're still relatively strong. Okay, you two uh, go over here quickly. <laughs> You'll probably make it just in time. So yes, this will be getting your Rockbot next turn. Let's go. <laughs> Our industry is so much. Uh, endoplasma fighter? Make two of them. Uh, how long until the new shield? Oh, only two turns? Okay, yeah, just, just make one. Okay, so Rockbot, invade. This ship suddenly got made. Well, it's too late now. You're dead anyway. Oh my gosh, their fleet is so strong. Oh my gosh, they're stacking everything over here. Maybe, should I reroute the flagship up to here? How long would that take? Four turns? No, no, no. This actually could be really good for me. Because they're diverting everything up here to fight me at Rukba, then... I'll be able to sneak through at a uh, Mickey Alpha with my flagship and this uh, fleet and just destroy them. Oh, and we have this. Please tell me that was made this turn. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, it wasn't. No, was that made last turn? Uh, back. Oh my gosh, back? Back again. Huh. Okay, I don't know when that was made. But yeah, you've been made. Uh, you could go to Bessel since they do have a uh, toxic world there. However, I think it'd probably be better to colonize one of these worlds. Ooh, a Dyson Forest. It'll only hit me three times, but I might as well just go around it. Let's go over to here. Yeah, I'm thinking come up here and uh, colonize like the desert or yeah, probably the desert since it's medium sized. And it has this nice uh, resonant moon. Okay, so that invasion's gonna happen next turn. That's going up. Flagship will get there in two. Let's go. Gosh, how much production do we have? Endoplasma fighter. Wait, what? How did that not take over? It wasn't enough, really. <sighs> All right. Okay, three more will be enough. Oh no, wait, these are spatial scouts. Ah! Quit making the wrong thing. Okay, so like that. Move this from the queue. So I want to look at this. These guys here, they have a stealth of 25. And he has a, no, that's detection range. Where's their stealth? Stealth of five. Stealth of five. This guy has a stealth of 85. Yeah, the sentient hull provides a bonus of plus 20. So then these guys will all have that same bonus. Wow. Okay, how stacked are these guys? <laughs> Merge into a fleet. It's a pretty big fleet. And these will get done in three turns, three turns. But they're down at Bexley, and I was planning on sending them over this way. Oh, wait! 
Aha! Our endoplasma fighter is done. Go! Okay, so now this guy, if I were to send him up here, here. Yes, four turns, and he doesn't cross through anything where he fights. Nice. Okay, let's see what happens when the flagship joins. Let's go. Just, just you. Join the fleet. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. How much here? How much here? Oh my gosh, do they not have anything? They could get that up there. It's 210. How much do I have? Okay, not quite enough. When my endomorph... Or, uh... When that guy gets there, that might be good enough. Okay, plasma shields. Anything being made that doesn't already have points in it? No, okay. Uh, over here. So how much better is the plasma shield? Nine! That's almost double. Our production's 200. Our, big, our goal has been successful. Our production is approaching our research. Very much thanks to getting this solar orbital generator, and I'll get another one from here, but I, I'm sure... Yeah, it says right on there it doesn't stack, so... That would be insane. Okay, Algernon. Ooh. This would be three turns to get there. We can get this in two turns. Okay, do that in two turns. Or no, there's a nebula there. You won't be able to see. Okay, do that. You. Oh, that's their home world! Ah, we found their home world. The home world of the primacy. Swamps. Tundra. Gas giants and large ocean. Ooh, what is this? Whoa. Some kind of a structure is visible under the ocean. Pan up, complex increases. Empire wide detection strength by 10. Detection range on this planet by 75, buried deep within the crust of the planet. When fed the data from an Empire's detection equipment, it has the power to pull reliable information from the chaotic static beyond the edges of certainty. Wow. Very strong. We totally need this planet. Uh, what's it defended by? A, sen a sentinel, of course. Okay, well, let's head up to here. Because I don't want to go up this way, because then I'll hit this guy, and the maintenance ship will obliterate me, because I only have three. Eight structure. Oh, because of my reinforced hull. These guys, however, are now very weak. Wait a minute. Really? Oh my gosh, those fools! Planet's very strong. But if I were to just annihilate this fleet, I mean, that'd be a huge win. If I could take out all these heavy troop ships, merge into a fleet. <sighs> yeah. Let's do it. Let's go to Deneb. See if we can wipe these guys out. This is the only ship that can get there in one turn. There's no way they can be prepared for this. They might be coming to fight me up here. Alright, we have gotten through turn 200. Let's go. Oh my gosh, we did it! Okay, first uh, status report. Okay, combat at Deneb Alpha. 7 to 10. No, we lost a ship, Riley. Riley was the weak guy. He was the guy with only 18 attack. He's been with the he's been with me forever. Riley, no. <laughs> he was so young. Oh, because the planet attacked Riley, and then the planet attacked Riley again. That's why the planet focused fire on Riley. No. But we uh, did we incapacitate the planet? We did. Incapacitated. Gotcha! <laughs> okay, now we're, we're go, go away. <laughs> let's let's make that a hit and run. Because uh, I do not want to be around when they send whatever hellfire is coming like this over here or something. I don't want to be there. Not going to be there. Not going to not gonna be another statistic. Okay, let's go here. And uh, our endoplasma fighter. Let's remove this. Add this. Oh wow, how much more expensive is that? Oh my gosh, that's twice as expensive. That's twice as good. Endo, <laughs> the endo plasma, plasma fighter. And plasma shielding. 
confirm. <laughs> uh, go back to here. And Rockba. And let's make a few of these. Three of those. Nice. Okay, let's get these guys out of here. You guys head up here. I want to take over Rockba. Then we're done. Let's go. Okay, got out of here. They started moving. Oh, wow. Oh, man, they really went all out bringing this fleet over. Well, this is going up there next turn. Okay, you two. Uh, split the fleet. You. Go here. You. Go here. Let's get you guys ready to be able to scout through this area. Alright, so you are ready, you Mr. Ravenous Warship. Head over here. And we'll get another uh, Endo Plasma Fighter ready to go next turn. And we'll be able to invade this. Let's go. Okay, they brought back a bunch of these. This is probably going to be a lot less. Oh, not a lot less. Hmm. Just brought a bunch up. Interesting. Rockba, invade with eight. And we win. You go over here. Five turns. It's going to take you four turns. Yep. Down, you're heading over. You two. Nicely seen. Nicely seen. Oh, you don't have enough fuel. Oh. Yeah, you just hang out. You two just hang out here. We're getting some good intel from WoW. Wow, these guys have a lot of stuff. Okay, we're going to take over Rukba. Delta. Next turn. Yeah, between this fleet and this fleet and this fleet, we should be able to attack the kingdom soon. But yeah, we're taking over Rukba. That's our main thing. Here, Death Ray is done in six turns. We have so many endoplasma fighters being made, including a couple of endoplasma plasma fighters. Three endoplasma plasma fighters. All right. Let's take over a homeworld. We did it. We did it. Head on a spike. The head of the former emperor rested on a spike for all to see striking fear in the hearts of the current empire's foes. Non-empire ships, both enemies and allies within 100 UU will have slightly reduced shields, structure, and weapons. Nice. So I get a bonus for all things within 100 UU of this world because I took it over. Johnson! Nice name for a ship. Johnson, go here. You guys, you fleet, go here. You, Mr. You guy, you go here, I guess. You're on your way, you're on your way, okay. And then we need more production. <laughs> and no plasma plasma fighter, please. Thank you. That'll get done in the turn. Um, also make a ravenous warship. Yeah, we'll make that before this. Actually, no, okay, remove this from the cube. Let's change the ravenous warship design to have the plasma shield. Because the ravenous warship is supposed to be, like, top of the... Top of the line. And should this even have... Yeah, we want that. Yeah, we need the extra fuel capacity. Because the idea of this is supposed to be it's a warship that we can invade with. Okay, so we'll confirm the new design. And we'll delete the old design. And... Back to the Empire. And... Rockaba and Ravenous Warship. Here we go. Seven turns. Oh, darn it! I didn't do anything with this. And if... Adequate. Hostile. Hostile. Okay, I guess we're going with the Inferno. To colonize. Because we'll automatically have a population of three on it. That'll grow to eight. Okay, so we've taken over a homeworld. We have made very powerful fighters. We're about to colonize a Nif Delta, and we are preparing to take on the kingdom. I think we have done our job of increasing our production output. Now it is time to conquer, and our next target after the Concord is the kingdom. Yeah, the Concord only have these two left. That's, uh, that's not much. All right, save. Okay. Yes. And we have to resign. Uh, well, thank you all very much for watching. My name is Youngblade, and I hope that you all will have a wonderful day, 
You can join me next time as we attempt to conquer the Kingdom Empire and free Orion.